Welcome back. Today we've got something a bit different to usual. I've been in the process of creating a text-based hacker game. I'll give some context first. And by the way, I've never done this before, so the code will probably be, be a little bit trash. Uh, but for context, at work recently, I've been assigned the task to create a bunch of vulnerable apps that the user then has to uh, essentially exploit. So, for example, I might build a Python app uh, which has a broken access control, and then the user has to try and uh, escalate their privileges um, for their task. So I thought it'd be cool to turn this into a little text-based game that I could maybe ship alongside it or something. Um, so that's kind of the context. Um, we can have a look at the code in a moment. By the way, the code is available on my Patreon, which I'll leave in the link uh, in the description and in the comment section. So I thought we'd first execute the first level, which is this broken access control one. Uh, and I've got it to type out sort of character by character. I thought that looked a bit cooler. And bits of key information are green if I've remembered. So you've discovered that the website you're trying to hack is a broken access control mechanism. Uh, you also know that you can log in as a normal user with user123 as both the username and password. Um, this is the endpoint. Uh, you need to obtain a valid uh, token to access the restricted content. So not really a story yet, <clears throat> but the idea really is you'd probably try and hack a server, get yourself into the building or something um, by giving yourself admin rights uh, and then opening some door or something. So if we've been paying attention, our username should be this and our password should be this. So now we're sending a login request. So we send a post request uh, to login. We get back our access token. Um, we decode the token. Here's our uh, role. Currently it's just a user, which is a normal user. Then uh, our new payload, our new payload is a uh, admin. So we've updated the ad uh, the role to be an admin. Uh, user role successfully updated to admin. Uh, then we re-encode the token. Our new token looks like this. And then we need to send a really another post request. But like I said, this is really this is really a concept video, not a sort of this isn't the game. This is sort of the first level. I want to make it more interactive too. Um, and then we get this big access granted message uh, and then we have restricted content maybe we get some instructions that we can execute and you now have admin privileges so i think that's pretty cool uh we can look at some code now so you can sort of follow along if you want um so what we did there is <clears throat> we just ex executed this level by um we're by executing the file basically so we've just done this is just one of the levels but again it's not really fully defined or anything. Um, I might need to collapse this so we can see it all. So that's what this file looks like. We've got our sort of fake endpoints. We've got a user endpoint, an admin endpoint, and a login endpoint, which are just functions that actually are sort of hard-coded things. Although we do actually encode a real JWT token, uh, which I thought was quite neat. This is our login response with the token. Um, and this type string, I'll show you. Uh, where is that? So that looks like this. So this is how we're making it all come out one at a time. So every 0.02 seconds, we execute a new character. Uh, and this is where we're printing the hack success. And this is us converting the JWT token. So it's not a byte, but actually just a string. Going back to this, uh, this is our main loop. Here we've got some uh, strings. And again, these are just being, this type string function is just printing out one character at a time. Uh, this coloured thing, as you probably saw at times, the text was green. That's a, what this effect here does. Uh, and this is just like the end of a print statement. Here we enter the username and password. Uh, and then here we've got a bunch of stuff that's typed out for us. Um, here's our the token. And then here we basically check to see if the, uh, we have a token. Uh, if we have a token, then we get the positive response. Uh, you could add, add an element of like failure. Uh, I thought about having like a bit of like as maybe like a thirty percent chance of things failing for no reason, but I'll probably do that at a later stage. Uh, what else have we got? Decoding again. Here's just a bunch of everything you saw really, but here we actually decode the token. I thought that was quite cool. Um, for, so we decode the token for real, and then we actually update the token for real. Uh, so this is a real way that you would actually do this. This isn't like just text. 
this is how you would actually escalate your privileges in real life if you knew that this vulnerability existed. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, bunch of other stuff that we're just printing. Uh, I would like to make this better. And then this print hack, print hack success thing is this function here where we're using pi piglet. And that's actually a real application, so ignore that. I was actually trying to mimic it, so that's something else. That's like a real version of broken access control. And this is our main. Uh, this is sort of how we start the game. Um, but we didn't see that because we didn't actually execute this file. But it's welcome to the hacking robotics game. Your objective is to hack into a series of increasingly difficult ta t uh, targets. Uh, here we'd list commands. Tools, I thought. So tools, the way I wanted it to be is I don't want to just spoon feed it necessarily to the user. It would be nice if they had to like use their tools. So like they might be in a situation and be like, okay, well, what could I do here? Maybe use broken access control to for this scenario or use, um, let's go over here. Like we might use an XSS attack, something or whatever is... Um, or SQL injection, whatever the situation presents. I'm not sure how feasible that's going to be, that might be too difficult. But it's something I want to think about. So we start off on level... So I think this is how people do it. Uh, so this is our main while loop, essentially. So we'd have our level, our level starts at 1. Um, this is kind of not doing anything right now, so by default we're level 1. So if we are level 1, we basically go into this first level, which is our broken access control loop. Uh, and then we can always check for when we're out of that we can always check for um, commands what I should probably do is put that on a thread or something like that so you can always execute it uh, no matter where you are so we would need to pass that thread instance around but yeah that's pretty much it so yeah so again if you want to I think let me just double check and here's the requirements Quite small, pi jwt, term color, pi figlet. Um, I don't think I'm using this. This was an old, older version actually. So I'll go ahead and uh, delete that. But yeah, all you need to do is go to the Patreon. I mean, you should have been able to see all the code on here. Alternatively, on Patreon, you just download the zip file that's linked and then un unzip it open it and then install the requirements file uh, so you can do that all from your terminal here so the way you would do that is pip install your requirements i tend to develop in linux so you might well, whatever your dev environment is i'm guessing you know how to do that yourself um but yeah any questions or thoughts or ideas uh or comments yeah let me know nice bye